Most design critics agree that Louis Kahn was the most talented and influential American architect of the mid-century years. He advanced modernism beyond the fading international style into immense poetic expression and became an inspiration for generations of architects to come. Kahn designed only a few buildings, mainly for art, educational, and religious institutions, all of which are destinations. Some of his works include the Yale Art Gallery, a commission he received while working at the Yale School of Architecture, the Salt Institute for Biological Studies in La Jolla, California, depicted in this iconic photo by Ezra Stoller the Phillips Academy Library in Exeter, New Hampshire, the Unitarian Church in Rochester, New York, and of course, the National Assembly Building of Bangladesh. Like other modernists, Khan was captured by classical architecture. For him, it was the oldest monuments, such as the Parthenon of Delphi, the Egyptian pyramids, and Hadrian's Villa in Rome, rather than neoclassical works that inspired him. The wonders of the ancients with the bold geometrical volumes and structural masonry are echoed in all of his buildings, including the Kimball Art Museum in Fort Worth, Texas, which is held as the best art museum of the post-war era. Kahn believed that creating monumental architecture was the only way to become timeless. Last week, I began my own pilgrimage to Texas to visit what I consider the most beautiful museum in the world. Knowing that it would host masterpieces, Kahn created a space engineered for the thrilling use of natural light. He infused advanced technology with the spirit and scale of ancient Roman villas of the type he had seen in Pompeii. The vaulted ceilings and walls carved the sky of Texas, creating a magical ambience where art and architecture come together without overshadowing one another. Khan was a genius. His legacy lives in the Kimball Art Museum as a love affair between bold elements, inviting visitors to engage with beauty in an ongoing conversation. A conversation that will enter a new phase in November of 2013. Renzo Piano, who once apprenticed in Khan's office, designed a pavilion based on similar principles of light, but this time achieved by glass, concrete, and wood. I plan a visit to Kimball again this fall when the pavilion is open to the public.